in 2011, um, this is a bit of a confession, we descended through the Kumbu Icefall one afternoon, which is idiocy, <laughs> but we did, and I signed up for it, and I don't know why. You generally descend through the icefall very early morning when it's frozen solid and technically less mobile, you hope. We were in a team of eight of us, four fast, four slower, and between us there was perhaps a hundred and a hundred and fifty metre gap. I was the second in the first of the first four, falling behind a good friend of mine, a guy called Woody. And in the space of four seconds, four or five seconds, the following happened. I heard this roar. I turned round and this piece of ice, twice as big as this house, descended into the ground, as if it were on a lift. It didn't fall over, it didn't crumble, it just sunk. And the ice between it and me erupted. The piece of ice I was standing on, which was perhaps three metres square, descended, just plummeted, about five to ten feet. Basically a bit like a lift, just dropping. It then threw itself to the left and threw me off. I hung onto the rope. I fell dangling on this rope and the ice closed above my head. But it didn't close all the way. It left about a foot and quickly these guys pulled me out. But in that moment, it was all very fast, extremely fast. I decided that I was dead. I accepted it. And all I remember thinking to myself was, what a stupid way to die. <laughs> we got out, we scrambled down to base camp, we drank a lot of beers, still shaking. I wrote about it on my blog, and uh, I said to myself, I'm never going to do that again. Ha, <laughs>